Good morning, everyone, and thanks for joining us uh, this morning. My name is Cindy Williams. I'm the Vendor Relations Manager for the California Peace Op Officers Association, CPOA, and I'd like to welcome you to our October Demo Days. It's uh, challenging to connect in 2020, as we all know. We've been uh, on a great pivot the entire year, but we know how important it is to stay connected, even if we can only do it virtually. So we wanted to bring to you the products and services that you still need to source uh, in 2020 and keep those relationships as close as we can, even though we can't be face-to-face -face this year. And I know we all look forward to getting back to face-to-face. -to -face. So this morning, uh, it's 11 o'clock, and that means it must be Tyler Technologies. So I wanted to introduce the team from Tyler Technologies. This is their second demo days with us. So thank you to them for participating both in September and October because they know you need to stay connected with them. Uh, we have Beyond Ticketing, collecting the right data on scene with Brazos eCitation, and please welcome Account Executive Seth Deinhardt. Seth, thanks for joining us today. Excellent. Thanks, Cindy. And, and I want to thank everyone that is joining us remotely as well. And, and just like Cindy has mentioned, uh, you know, I am looking forward to the, the possibility of in-person conferences uh, next year. So hopefully in 2021, we'll, we'll all have the ability to meet face-to-face. -face. So as Cindy had mentioned, I'm the account executive with Tyler Technologies. I cover the West with our e-citation solution. So my intent today, I'm gonna run through just a, a quick PowerPoint presentation for those of us that are here that, that aren't familiar with who Tyler Technologies is. I'm gonna provide an e-citation overview and then I know what, uh, what everyone is really here for is, is the actual demonstration of what our browser's citation looks like. And then I'll open it back up with Cindy for any questions that, that came in during the demonstration process. So for those of us that aren't familiar with Tyler Technologies, Tyler is by far the largest company that is exclusively focused on providing software and services to city, county, and school district operations. Our solutions touch all aspects of city, county, and school districts and empower our clients to build safe and vibrant communities. So what do I really mean when I'm saying that, that our software and solutions touch all aspects of government operations? You know, what I'm providing you on the screen right here is just our various solution areas. So we provide software for courts and justice our, with our Tyler Odyssey case management solution. Just a little tidbit, about 70% of the population of California is served by our Tyler Odyssey court solution. And as you can see, we provide software and solutions for public safety. So in addition to e-citation, which we're talking about today, we provide CAD, RMS, mobility solutions, records and documents, appraisal and tax, ERP systems, planning, regulatory and maintenance, as well as school solutions. So Tyler Technologies has over 26,000 client installations across 10,000 locations. And of those 26,000 installations, we have roughly 925 agencies that are utilizing our e-citation solution. So what I'm showing you here is where we are located throughout the country. As you can see, we are located in a lot of states. We currently have a lot of officers that are utilizing our solution and we're processing a lot of accident reports and citations on an annual basis. Today in California, we have just over 40 agencies that are utilizing Brazos e-citation, and we have about 15 agencies that are currently in project with us right now. So I would like to call out two states that I'm showing on this map today, the state of Nevada and the state of North Carolina. We have a statewide implementation in the state of Nevada where every ticket writing agency is currently utilizing Brazos for citations, crash reports, a global state tow form, and some of the other agencies have added on additional modules to help capture data throughout the state. The second state I'd like to call out is the state of North Carolina. We are in the middle of a project for a statewide implementation where every agency is gonna be utilizing Brazos for citations and crash reporting. So we have a lot of experience with small size agencies, mid size agencies, and larger tier one agencies, and we're, we're proud to call them our partners. So let's, let's talk about Brazos specifically. So 
you know, a lot of folks look at Brazos and they think it's just a citation module. Well, you know, actually we look at ourselves, we are a citation solution. We're allowing agencies to do a lot more with less and help them collect as much data out in the field as possible. So if you think about the current environment in California and law enforcement nationwide, you know, there's a lot of things that are changing for agencies. You wanna make sure that you have a solution that's gonna provide accurate and relevant data to ensure that you have transparency all across the board. We have agencies that are utilizing us as far as uh, federal reporting requirements. So if you think about some of the use of force forms, community engagement, or any other reporting requirements that are passed down by the feds. And we're also a highly integrated software solution and, and we're allowing our agencies to stay ahead of the curve when, when there's any changes coming down from the state or federal side. We wanna make the jobs easier for our officers and agencies that are currently utilizing our solution. So I mentioned that we are a solution as opposed to a citation module. You know, so there's a lot of ways that you could increase your efficiencies by utilizing the Brazos today. So what I'm showing you here is a variety of different modules and tasks that we have built out for our existing agencies. So as you can see, you know, not only are we providing, you know, electronic citation, state crash reporting, but your agency can add on and expand your solution so you can capture as much data as possible in the field. You know, so we have a lot of agencies that are utilizing us for parking citations, tow impound reports. So California specifically, the CHP 180 tow impound task is included as part of our base e-crash offering that we have today. And with Brazos, any paper form that your officers, your deputies are filling out by hand in the field can be digitized so they can electronically capture and fill out that information. And not only does this help optimize the workflow, but it makes things a heck of a lot easier for your officers out in the field today. The Brazos solution is fully customizable. So throughout California, it is a uniform citation throughout the state. But one thing that's really nice with our solution is the fact that each agency that is utilizing Brazos can customize it. They can change the look, the layout. We have a lot of agencies that are adding a lot of additional fields to their citation form for internal reporting purposes only. There's a lot of flexibility built around that. And with Brazos, your agency can leverage your existing hardware today. So you do not need to worry about going out and purchasing specific handheld devices for the e-citation solution. We could run on any cell phones, any ruggedized tablets, handheld devices, laptops, MDCs, you name it. There's a lot of, a lot of different agencies that are, are running a wide variety of hardware with our solution. And with that said, we're completely operating system agnostic. So we've got a lot of agencies running Brazos with iOS, Android, Windows-based devices. There's a lot of agencies today that are utilizing our solution where their motor officers are running Brazos with ruggedized handheld devices from Zebra. And then the rest of the, the department, patrol, command staff, they have Brazos installed on their department issued iPhones. The Brazos solution is completely cloud-based. We're, we're hosted with Amazon Web Services GovCloud. I do want to clarify the second line item on this screen right here, the web-based architecture. So the Brazos application is installed natively on the devices that your department would be utilizing. The web-based architecture, since we're hosted by Amazon Web Services, is where the web is where your configuration is stored, all of your user profiles are stored, everything on the back end for your system is stored up in the cloud. And what this allows to do is provides your agency the ability where you could log in, make changes to your configuration, add fields, remove fields, make fields mandatory on the fly, all from, from the web. So we also provide enhanced statistical reporting. I don't know if anyone that is on right now is familiar with Cognos BI. It's a lot more user-friendly. You know a lot of agencies are still utilizing Crystal, but one benefit of Cognos is the fact that you can create any type of custom report from any data field that is captured within Brazos 
and you could have those reports run automatically and emailed out to command staff or any other folks that need to see this data at any desired interval that your agency wishes. We also provide heat mapping on the back end. So this comes in really handy. If you wanna take a look, see where your hotspots are in your jurisdiction, that way you know where you might wanna bump up selective enforcement. And one really key feature of Brazos is the fact that we can operate offline. You do not need to worry about having any type of cellular connectivity or Wi-Fi connectivity to start a citation, a crash report, or any other form. The only time you really need to worry about having that connectivity is when you need to push the data that's been captured on your agency's devices up to the cloud. So with handhelds and the ability to utilize cell phones, you also increase the ability where you can capture photos in the field. And one of the really nice benefits is our solution. We have photo capabilities built into our solution. Officers can take as many pictures of the violator, the vehicle, the parking infraction as they see fit. Those photos will be attached to the citation on the back end. And we can also push the photos over to your agency's record system as well as the court. So if you think about someone standing in front of a judge advising it wasn't them, well, here's the judge taking a look at everything, including the, the photo of the violator, you know, that is time stamped. So there's a, there's a lot of benefits as far as being able to capture photos and tie those photos to the citations, crash reports, field interview forms, or any other forms that are currently being utilized by your agency. So what I'm gonna show you here, it's a quick minute 27 second video just showing just how fast and efficient Brazos is out in the field. This is a one of our existing agencies, uh, the motor officer that that <laughs> So in the state of Texas, every single vehicle has a registration mm -hmm. barcode mm -hmm. on the windshield. So all the vehicle tests are already populated into the citation. Eight, eight, one, five, I've had agents tell me that this is far too quick. Just the Again, just showing just how, the best case scenario, just how fast and efficient you utilize process of citation. Now, one thing to call out, we have an agency down in Southern California that's uh, depending on the situation of the officer, they will actually ask the driver of the driver's side door or scanning the registration hardware that is needed to be As far as knocking out a citation, a lot quicker than scratching out a paper site. So from a support standpoint, we offer 24-7, 365 day support. Law enforcement's a 24-7 job. Our folks are there to support your team 24-7. As part of our comprehensive maintenance package, we have automatic software upgrades. We don't believe in change orders with Brazos. So if say six months down the road after your agency has gone live with us, say you wanna make a change to your configuration, you wanna change a workflow, you wanna change the intervals that we have our interfaces set up for your agency into records, the courts or any other, any other system that we're pushing data to, we're not gonna charge you for those changes. It's just a matter of reaching out to us and we can go ahead and make those changes for you. We try to minimize as much IT intervention as possible. And, and the Brazos solution, it's a very easy solution to maintain and move forward with. So with Tyler Technologies being an extremely advanced company, mature company, you know, we offer some advanced support. So one of the advanced support offerings that we have is our Tyler University. So best way to describe Tyler University, it is an online web portal where your agency, your staff can log into and receive training on any of the Tyler products that you're currently utilizing today. The, the training sessions are quick. Think five, six minute video. So it comes into really handy if you have any new hires that they wanna log in, receive training on, on the browser solution. Annual refresher training. So it's, it's a great tool to, to utilize um, as far as training on the fly. 
And I also want to call out our, our Connect conference. So, so the, the Connect is our user conference where all users of Tyler can attend. We're actually running out of space, out of cities where uh, that can accommodate our Connect conferences just because you know, we have such a large gathering. I want to say last year we had just over 7,000 attendees and that's not including any of the Tyler staff. So it's a really great time get to see what's coming down the pipe as far as uh, product enhancements, updates, upgrades. It's, uh, again, if, if you are with Tyler Technologies, by all means, highly recommend attending the, the Connect conference. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna switch over to our software demonstration here. So give me one second, let me just switch screens. So for this demo, I'm utilizing one of our, our demo configs with one of our California agencies. I'm using my own personal iPhone for the config. So as I had mentioned earlier, we do a lot more than just citations. So as you can see on the screen right now, you know, there's an e-citation button, there's a crash reporting button, there's an FI button, parking, reporting, and stop data. I do want to call out that reporting button. It's a little misleading. So a lot of folks look at the reporting button and automatically assume that this is probably field-based reporting. I automatically assume that was the case when I first started. What that reporting button actually is, you know, say a sergeant, captain, lieutenant reaches out to, to someone on the, the motors and they just want to see how, how productive have you been today? You know, how many sites have, have you issued? How many crash reports or, you know, how many other forms have you captured in the field? The officer can go ahead and click on that reporting button and it's going to actually print out just a, a summary of everything that's, that's been captured on the device since, uh, since they logged into the, to the device. So I'm going to go ahead and click on e-citation. So one of the really nice things with, with the state of California, having a uniform citation, everyone is very familiar with it. It's not like other states where some counties have different sites in comparison to their neighboring county. So since I'm utilizing a cell phone, you know, in order for me to move from screen to screen, it is just a matter of me swiping my finger left to right. So some other functionalities that I do want to call out since I'm utilizing my cell phone, I'm going to be utilizing my camera. Uh, I would hit the barcode icon that's on the bottom left. And what that is going to do, it's going to open up the camera and then I'd be able to go ahead and scan a driver's license, vehicle registration paperwork. I had mentioned agencies have the ability where they can make fields mandatory, not mandatory. So any of the, the fields that your agency would want set as mandatory would have red lines next to them. So we have real time validation taking place when we want to save a citation or print out a site. So if there's any fields that are mandatory that have not been completed, it's going to call it out. It's going to take the officer back to the screen where they're missing the required information and they're going to have to fill it out before they could complete the citation. And again, your agency has full control as far as what that, what that process looks like. So I'm just going to run through a really quick traffic citation here. So I had mentioned you have the ability where you could add fields to your configuration. So prime opportunity, we have a grant field added to this demo config. So agencies can track grant data. So I selected OTS. So at the end of the year, whenever your agency is going to apply for a grant, you have the ability to run a quick report. So you've got that data at your fingertips for the grant application. So as far as courts, during the project phase, we would collect all the information as far as the courts that we would be writing the sites into. So for all intents and purposes, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit Oakland Traffic Court. We have automatic court calculation built into the system here. So you can see that it's automatically calculating the, the court date. So it takes, takes a lot of time away from the officers having to look up on the calendar and figure out when the next available court date is. So as far as uh, scanning subject information, I'm gonna go ahead and just utilize my barcode on my phone. I'm just gonna flip this demo driver's license around. And as you can see, it has parsed all the information that is tied to this barcode. And if you notice, the race field is required. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just add that information into, into the subject information here. So one thing to call out, and I think the majority of us are probably very familiar with how to utilize cell phones. If for some reason the, the subject has not updated the address with the DMV out here in California, and it's their old address, it's just a matter of just typing on the address field. And, and just like we're used to today with, with our iPhones or, or Galaxy phones, you can just overwrite, overwrite the address. 
So same concept as far as vehicle registration is concerned. You know, if their paperwork has a vehicle registration barcode, you go ahead and scan that barcode. Just fat fingered it, excuse me. And then you can populate all the information for, for the vehicle. And if, if they don't have a barcode, you can type the information in. If your agency is comfortable with opening up the driver's side door and scanning the barcode that's on the B post, you can do that. And we also have the ability to set up a browser's message switch where we can actually run uh, returns, you know, NCIC, CLETS returns, you know, on both subjects and vehicles from within our application. And not only will that allow your, your officers to receive hits on anything that's being ran, but you can also populate the citation, crash reports, or any other forms with, with the return data that comes back as well. So that's also another, another option that is out there. So we have smart fields built in. So as far as the reg registered owner information, if it's the same you know, RO that, that I just scanned and added to the citation, I'm gonna hit those and it's gonna remove those fields from, from needing to be filled out. We have our evidence of insurance. So as far as location information, so during the project phase, what we will do is we will ask for a GI shape file from the city, the county, we'll parse all that data into the system. That way, you know, if I'm gonna cite someone over at East Street, it's gonna only provide me with a list of valid cross streets that intersect A Street. As far as violations, your agency has full control as far as how you want the violations to be categorized. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on traffic here. So as you can see, you know, here's all the, the traffic offenses. This is a Alameda County agency. But let's just say we're gonna cite someone for speeding. You can start typing in, you know, the statute code. It's gonna filter down based on what you're typing in the search box. Whether the citation is correctable, non-correctable. And we just have this for demonstration purposes, but some agencies like being able to add public facing notes on the citation. And this is just a perfect example for it. So I'm just gonna hit test and save. Again, this is configurable based on your, your agency. We also have a lot of agencies that are utilizing us for warnings as well. So if I was going to cite this per, or excuse me, if I was going to warn this person for speeding, I would hit that top line another time and it would change from red to green. We don't have warnings enabled on this configuration, but you have a lot of flexibility as far as whether you want to be able to print out warnings and well as well. So since I had selected a speeding violation, I'm just going to enter some dummy information in here. the speed was determined. One thing I do want to call out, so for selective enforcements, we have the ability where agencies, officers can carry fields forward from one citation to the next. Comes in really handy for selective enforcement. Um, so if, if you're, you're doing stop sign enforcement, school zone enforcement, you have the ability to, to carry forward location, offense information over to the next site. Just one thing to call out, if you get dispatched to another location, make sure you turn off that carry forward feature. You're going to be removing a lot of information. So additional information as far as weather, traffic, surface, I'm not going to go through all of these just because we're all used to it. As far as capturing signature from the driver, just a matter of just clicking on the yellow box and capturing it. So photo capabilities. This is actually a prime time. So one thing I do want to call out, we partner with both Brother and Zebra as far as uh, printers and Zebra with their ruggedized handheld devices as well. So I just have both a Brother and Zebra printer here. Here would be a perfect opportunity to, to mention that. So if you wanna take any additional pictures, you can do that. And then notes. So this notes field right here, private notes. So you can utilize voice dictation with your hardware so perfect opportunity to add private notes to help refresh your memory the day of court. And we also provide up to two minutes of audio recording. So we have a lot of agencies that are utilizing this audio recording feature. Uh, a lot of them are, are recording their court statement. And you can listen to that audio recording tied to the citation on the back end on the Brazos website. Now, as far as diagramming, some agencies utilize this diagram, others don't, but it's free form. You just want to draw a quick diagram just to refresh your memory. You can go ahead and do so. And then if you want to capture any additional subject information, juvenile information, parent information, you, you can do that as well as additional witness information. So if all was said and done, I was actually synced up to a printer, I would hit print and it would do a, a quick check to make sure that everything was filled in correctly. 
And again, if it wasn't, it would take me to the screen where I'm missing information. And as you can see, the record has been saved. So I'm gonna back out here. And one thing I do wanna hit on is our stop, excuse me, stop data module that we recently just built out. So we, we have developed an AB 953 stop data module for agencies to utilize if they would like. This is part of our e-citation offering. So if you were to move forward with e-citation for us, or if you're an existing Brazos agency that has our e-citation, we're gonna be adding this to your, to your configuration if you wanna utilize us for, for stop data. I'm not gonna run through this field by field, but I just wanted to, to call it out that we have completed the stop data module. And then we also have reporting built out on our Brazos website for agencies to run a stop data report and provide it to the DOJ via their secure FTP site. And we also have the ability where we can interface and, and send the report electronically. So I know there's a lot of different workflows that agencies are utilizing today as far as stop data. This is a very hot topic today. I'd be more than happy to, to discuss this with your agency, let everyone at your agency see exactly you know, what we've built out on both the, the, the front end with the application as well as the reporting side uh, for the stop data. And, and it looks like I have roughly four minutes left here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it back over to Cindy and, uh, you know, check and see if we have any, any questions that have come in. And with that said, Cindy, I'll turn it over to you. Hey, thank you, Seth. Great presentation. Uh, please put any questions that you have in the chat box. Uh, I also want to remind you that our uh, CPOA events app uh, has all the information you need from all of the companies that are presenting today. Tyler Tech is featured in our sponsor, uh, I, under our sponsor icon, as well as under the Demo Days icon. So you can reach out, you can connect with them, you can request more information. You've got their website and all their social channels available there, uh, and you can make direct connection with them through our app. So we always encourage you to stay connected uh, with them even after the discussion today. Uh, we do have a question. Uh, have the scan DL capabilities accounted for new gender categories in California, like non-binary? Great question. So that, that is an excellent question. And, and that is a field that we are adding um, to our configurations for any agencies that, that wish to, to have that deployed. Great, thank you. Uh, I, I actually enjoyed the photos that you shared of the car up on its end. That was... Yeah, I would, I would love to hear the story. I know. I was thinking the same thing. That's a very interesting uh, story, I'm sure, behind that. You mentioned the support packages, uh, you know, that you offer your clients that, you know, how you support them when they are, um, when they are coming online with the Tyler Technologies platforms. And you mentioned a conference. Is that something that's included or is that something that's extra? For, so that is, for clients to attend. So, so that is usually um, something that, that is an add-on for the clients where, where they, they will pay. Um, there's also some, some offerings with um, our account management teams, our client executives, where uh, there's some additional training bundles that agencies can receive. And, and part of that training bundle also includes a couple passes uh, to the Connect conference. So if, if you know, there's any additional questions as far as that, um, you know, feel free to, the next screen that I'm going to have, it's going to have my contact information. I'd be more than happy to provide some additional specifics as far as that's concerned. Great. Great. Any other thoughts that you wanted to share, Seth? You know, it's, th this year has been crazy across the board and, and data collection and, and transparency and just ensuring that, that our agencies out here that we're partnering with, you know, are, are able to capture, you know, all the, the relevant data to, to help them. Um, with everything that's going on, you know, and, and you know, I, I greatly appreciate the opportunity to uh, to come out, let everyone you know see the application. Uh, I had mentioned iOS capabilities. I showed the the application on my uh, iOS device. Anyone that's on here today, you know, you can go out to the Apple Store if you have an iPhone and you can download a very basic demo application of what the of Brazos, um, you know, and, and if if you want to do that feel free to reach out to me via my contact information on, on this slide. I figured I'd just move over here just so everyone has time to, to write the information down. Uh, but I'll be more than happy to send you over the, the username and password. Um, if there's any college football fans, 
that are that are joining us today. Um, remember with the, the Aggies down in, in Texas A&M, uh, it, it pertains to Texas A&M Aggies just because uh, Brazos is, is based out of College Station, Texas. But um, you, might, you might get a kick out of that if you're a college football fan, so. I love it, good. And I do wanna remind our attendees uh, that this session is being recorded and we will have a link uh, available in the coming days. Uh, we'll share it with you uh, through email and we'll also have it on our website so that you have access to the great information that Seth and the team from Tyler Tech has shared with us today. So with that, uh, Seth, if you can, I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording and we are going to, yes, and oops, sorry, we are going 